Hi everyone, welcome to episode uh, 6 now of the Daily Herbalist. I'm just going to post a very quick video today because I just want to chat about a couple of things. Um, right now elections here in New Zealand are gearing up and I almost find myself a wee bit triggered by the whole process. Um, I really always struggle to get into politics and I think the reason is that sometimes it feels very disempowering. It reminds me a lot of how I feel in conversations about you know doctors, the medical establishment, the health industry. And that sort of thing. Um, when we, I think, when people blame, uh, you know, the establishment for what's going wrong, it can actually be really disempowering. Uh, if we blame doctors and how little they know about nutrition and, and uh, how they overprescribe medications and that sort of thing, um, and drug companies and big pharma, um, it's not that I think that stuff is not true. It's more to do with the fact, that, is it useful to really dwell on it? Um, a lot of the things that we need to do to be healthy and stay healthy are so readily available. They're, they're everywhere. You know, you need to take back your power, your freedom, um, write yourself a prescription for the things that you need. Um, being healthy, um, you might say, is a really radical form of, of freedom and activism at this time in you know, the world's history. Um, so, uh, you know, it's interesting when people look at, you know, I prescribe herbs and people look at the herbs I give them, a lot of the time they might say, well, that's interesting. You know, that grows in my sidewalk. I put Roundup on that or that grows in my hedge or there's a bush nearby and I recognize the name of that plant from the nursery. Um, a lot of the things I prescribe and sell are actually really, really common, common, common things. Even, you know, invasive um, exotic species. A lot of the plants in the invasive exotic species list are also medicinal edible plants. Um, highly valuable, extremely useful, potent. Um, and, you know, you don't even always have to buy and, and spend money or a lot of money on the things you need to be healthy. Going for a jog going for a walk, going for a tramp that's free, um, taking courses in wild plants and medicinal weeds, um, that's free medicine for the rest of your life for you and your family. Um, go to the farmer's market, you'll find cheap vegetables, just eat that. I had a client this week and she um, didn't have a lot of time and energy for cooking and planning and figure out nutrition, so she just signed up for one of those things where you get your meals delivered, you know, a month in advance and that's it. She's loving it. She feels great. She's healthy. She's lost weight. Her sugar cravings are getting better. She's feeling better about herself. I think she said she lost like, I can't remember what it was, um, 5 kg in the first two weeks. Pretty stoked. So, you know, being healthy can be easy. It can be fun. It can be an adventure. It can be a journey. Sometimes it doesn't feel that way. <laughs> a lot that's going wrong, and I, I totally understand that because I've been there. And the system can feel like a really awful place. It's not helping. It's very disempowering. Sometimes you're lucky, and you might have an awesome GP who really helps you and fights for you, um, or your specialist is brilliant um, and sorts you out, or your medication is great and it controls all your symptoms, and you don't have side effects and. Awesome, that's great. And the system works for those people. And other people are left a bit cold, or like me, they're just, it's not very helpful. There's nothing on offer. Um, when, when eczema and IBS and asthma, it, just, it was just dead ends where I went. At the end, I had to stop blaming the system and I had to take charge and take my health into my own hands. And then it's yours. Your health is yours, you own it. It belongs to you. It's a very Wizard of Oz thing. You have to go on the journey and then you realize you actually had the ability all along. I think it's the knowledge and the how-to that most of us are missing. Uh, and we're living in this really interesting age where there's so much information available, almost too much. We've gone from not enough information to too much information. Um, especially when you start consulting Dr. Google. So um, really that's all I really wanted to talk about today, just to put that out there. Um, you know, I think activism and getting political is wonderful and brilliant. We have to keep fighting for a better world for tomorrow. Um, but at the end of the day, don't get so lost in rallying against Big Pharma, for example, or Monsanto or just whatever. Just, okay, fine, let it go. Go do the things you need. Get on with it. Feel good. Be happy. I don't think resentment and anger is going to be much use when you're needing to really pick
pick your body back up off the floor and put it back together. So anyway, lots of love everyone. <laughs> Sorry to end up being my rant. I'll come up with something much more useful and practical tomorrow, I promise. Take care and stay dry. Be happy, be healthy. Bye.